Hi, this is Doreen Morin from Moore Media in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. I'm coming to you today to talk to you about Buffer App. Um, I, as you can see on the screen, I'm actually in Twitter. So before we hop over to Buffer, I just kind of wanted to show you what Buffer does and then I'll explain kind of how it works once we go to Buffer App. I'm in my Twitter account and I'm going to retweet something using my Buffer. So here is a tweet from my friend at Millipede Media and I'm going to retweet this. As I hover over the tweet, um, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so you can see it. Okay, as I hover over the tweet, um, it will not just say reply, retweet, favorite, but it has another button called buffer. So when I click buffer right here, it actually has an option to add this retweet to a buffer. And as you can see, here's the green line. I already have eight tweets buffered in there. Okay, when I now go and add this, say add to buffer, you will see the green line move. Okay, so now this tweet from Millipede Media is in my buffer. What does that mean? It means that when I go to buffer app, right here, and let's refresh this. Right here is the buffer, is the tweet that I just retweeted. It's gonna go out tomorrow at 3.09 a.m. Okay, how and why does it go out at 3.09 a.m.? You can see that right here in schedule, okay? Right here, I have put up dates and times that are most convenient for me um, to put tweets and buffers. Why? If you can zoom in and you can see it's from 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. when I'm actually sleeping is when these tweets are going to go out. Also, from 3 to 40 to about seven o'clock, these tweets are gonna go out during the day when I'm busy with my family and anytime after 11. Okay, why? Is because when I'm at work and I'm actually on Twitter and I see tweets I wanna retweet, I will just actually just hit the retweet button. But when I'm not there, I still want content to go out on Twitter and that's what I use Buffer app for. So if you go in here, it shows all the tweets that you've set up to go. Um, there's analytics. You can actually see what happens to the tweet, who's retweeted it, and, and, and how successful they are. Um, here, this was the schedule in your settings. You can do some other things like add link shorteners, add team members, um, connect other accounts. This is the free account from BufferApp.com. I just have my Twitter account connected. I do not have my Facebook or my Facebook uh, pages connected. Just my Twitter right now, that's what I like to use it for. So um, make sure that once you sign up at BufferApp.com, you add the extension to um, Chrome if that's what you're using, or Safari. So that's that's the only way that Buffer um, button right here will show up. You have to actually add that extension, which I've done in um, um, Chrome as well as Firefox. Um, so here it is, there's the Buffer button. You could, would be able to click any button like that and it will actually create something. You can also post it now and you can add something in front of it and say something like, um, great tweet, okay? And so you've added something to the tweet. Now you can add it to Buffer or post it now. I'm not gonna post this one right now. So this is Buffer app, bufferapp.com. Um, it's a way to send out tweets when you're away from your computer and you still have great content going out. You can also, um, upload tweets right in here, of course. You know, you don't have to do it from Twitter. You can actually um, put links to your own blog and your own content right here. Use the hashtags, upload a picture, and put it in Buffer right there. I like to use it from directly from my Twitter um, interface, um, but here it is as well. It's very simple to sign up for. It's very simple to use. This is Doreen Morin with Morin Media showing you how to use Buffer app.